Hi, I wanted to take just a brief minute to share with you guys something really cool that happened with me this morning. Uh, it starts with a couple days ago, I woke up and for whatever reason, I don't know if I slept wrong or what, but my shoulder has just been killing me the last couple days. And so this morning I woke up and I went to go on a prayer walk at about six o'clock in the morning. And as I started walking out, it was the first time that I actually took a moment and I said, God, my shoulder really hurts. Will you help it to feel better? Would you heal my shoulder? So go on this walk. About 15 minutes later, midway through the walk, I'm praying for some family members and someone shut a car door nearby completely startled my dog, my 90 pound lab that I had kind of the, the leash on my hand holding her. It startled her so much that it jolted my arm and it felt like a shot of lightning going through my shoulder. Well, lo and behold, about a minute later, I noticed that my arm, my shoulder no longer hurt. And it was so cool because it occurred to me a couple things. God really cares for us. And oftentimes we forget to go to him with the simplest of needs. I was reminded of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, where it says to cast your cares on him because he cares for you. And today he cared about my shoulder. And, and who knows, it may hurt again tomorrow and so forth. But at least for today, he made it feel better. The other thing that really stood out to me this morning is we never know in what way God's going to use the smallest of things. I'm sure that that person, when he or she closed their car door, had no idea that closing their car door was going to allow my shoulder to feel better today. It reminded me of Proverbs 16.3 where it says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do and He will establish your plans. If God will use something as small as the closing of a car door to help somebody feel better, imagine the things that He might do if you and I intentionally go out to do good for Him and His kingdom. So hopefully that's an encouraging word for you. Have a wonderful and God-filled, God-blessed day.